He is known for his exceptional skills as a concert pianist and renowned interpreter of Frédéric Chopin's music. He founded his own music school in Berlin and conducted orchestral concerts dedicated to the works of Hector Berlioz, Franz Liszt, and Ludwig van Beethoven. His name is Xaver Sharvenko. In the small town of Santer, Prussia, in the year 1850, a musical prodigy was born. His name was Xaver Sharvenko. Despite his father's lack of musical talent, young Xaver showed an innate love for music from an early age. His mother, who came from a musically inclined family, nurtured his passion and encouraged him to pursue his musical dreams. At the age of 15, Sharvenka's family moved to Berlin, where he enrolled at the prestigious Academy der Tonkunst. Under the guidance of Theodor Kulik, his skills as a pianist flourished, and he made his debut at the Sing Academy in 1869. Known for his beautiful tone, he became renowned for his interpretations of the works of Frédéric Chopin. In 1881, Sharvenka embarked on a new venture, organizing a successful series of chamber and solo concerts in Berlin. This led to the establishment of his own music school later that year. As his career progressed, he continued to tour extensively, collaborating with esteemed artists such as conductor Hans Richter and violinist Joseph Joachim. Sharvenka's triple role as a pianist, composer, and educator became the focus of his life. Hashtag break hashtag in 1891, Sharvenka embarked on a tour of America. Impressed by the country's musical scene, he decided to open a branch of his music school in New York. The following year, the Berlin Shervenka Conservatory merged with the Klindworth Conservatory, and Shervenka returned to Berlin as its director. Throughout his career, Shervenka made significant contributions to music education. He published a renowned method book for piano playing called, Methodic de Klavierspiels, in 1907. Many aspiring pianists, including José Viana de Mata, Fridjof Bakker Grandal, and Selmar Janssen, received instruction from him. Sharvenka's musical talent extended beyond the stage and the classroom. He made several recordings for Columbia Records, showcasing his own compositions as well as works by composers such as Chopin, Mendelssohn, Weber, and Liszt. His performances were admired for their skill and emotional depth. Even today, his recordings on Welty Mignon and Hupfeld piano roles are treasured, capturing the essence of his artistry. Hashtag break hashtag Xaver Sharvenka's legacy as a musician, composer, and educator is profound. His contributions to the field of music education continue to influence aspiring pianists, and his performances are admired for their technical brilliance and emotional expressiveness. Through his music school and his concert tours, he left an indelible mark on the musical landscape of both Europe and America. Sharvenka's devotion to music and his tireless efforts to share his passion with others serve as an inspiration to musicians and music lovers alike. His compositions, including his famous F minor fantasy, are cherished for their beauty and complexity. Xaver Sharvenka's biography is a testament to the power of music to transcend boundaries and touch the hearts of people all over the world. Xaver Sharvenka, a prominent composer of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, achieved great success in his career through his remarkable compositions. His body of work includes an opera, a symphony, chamber music, and numerous piano pieces. His piano compositions bear resemblance to the styles of Schumann and Rachmaninoff, captivating audiences with their depth and emotion. One of Sharvenka's notable achievements is his collection of four piano concertos, each a substantial work in its own right. The first concerto, in B-flat minor, op. 32, was initially composed as a solo piano fantasy. However, Sharvenka was dissatisfied with its form and decided to rework it into a concerto with orchestral accompaniment. The renowned pianist Franz Liszt accepted the dedication and performed the concerto in Berlin, solidifying its place in the musical world. Its first recording, featuring Earl Wilde and the Boston Symphony Orchestra conducted by Eric Leinsdorf, was made in 1968. This recording was a long-awaited opportunity for Wilde, who had learned the concerto as a young boy and had eagerly awaited the chance to share it with the world. Sharvenka's fourth piano concerto, in F minor, Op. 82, premiered in 1908 with Sharvenka's student Martha Siebold as the soloist and the composer himself conducting. The concert took place in the Beethovensel in Berlin, captivating the audience with its powerful melodies and intricate piano passages. This concerto showcased Sharvenka's ability to create captivating and emotionally charged compositions that resonated with both performers and listeners. Despite a period of neglect following his death, Sharvenka's music has experienced a revival in recent years. One of his most popular compositions, the Polish Dance No. 1, in E-flat minor, Op. 3, No. 1, has remained a beloved piece throughout the years. Since the mid-1990s, interest in Sharvenka's music has been rekindled, and recordings of most of his works are now readily available. 
In fact, Stephen Hoff's recording of Sharvenka's Fourth Piano Concerto with the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra conducted by Lawrence Foster was voted Record of the Year by the British music magazine Gramophone in 1996, highlighting the enduring appeal of Sharvenka's compositions. Additionally, his symphony in C minor, Op. 60, received its CD premiere in 2004, further solidifying his place in the classical music canon. Xaver Sharvenka's greatest compositions achievements in the realm of music are a testament to his talent and creativity. Through his four piano concertos and other notable works, he has left a lasting impact on the world of classical music, captivating audiences with his emotive melodies and masterful compositions. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.